Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm sharing some easy and inexpensive DIYs that I've created for my coffee station just to glam it up a bit for fall. I'm also doing a couple of thrift store transformations. So first I'm starting with this metal leaf tree that I found at my local thrift store and I only paid $4.99 for this piece and I knew it would be perfect for fall. I gave it a coat of the gold Rust-Oleum spray paint. This pink tray is also a thrift store find. It's originally from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be setting my beautiful gold candle holder on top of it. I'm going to be adding these tulip style votive candle holders that are also thrifted. Next, I'll be showing you how I've created this gorgeous decorative plate for fall, and you can create any plate for any season using this technique. So all I did was print out this image from Google. I'm going to be using a glass chopping board from Dollar Tree as well as Mod Podge. Now I'm going to be spreading the Mod Podge evenly, and then I'm going to be setting that on top of the paper with my image. Once I have set that on top of my image, I'm going to turn it over to make sure I smooth out all the bubbles and I'm going to cut out the excess paper. Now once dry, as you can see, this is an absolutely gorgeous decorative piece that can also serve as a gift for a host during this fall season. So I'm going to be adding this beautiful acorn just here to complete this look for this side of my kitchen. So let me know down below what are your thoughts on how this little section turned out. Next, I'll be using some thrifted items that I've found to create some sort of dessert or tiered candy dish. Now, I came across these gorgeous plates with this design and texture on the bottom, as well as this crystal piece that I believe used to be a bell. I'm going to be joining these pieces to create a tiered candy dish and I'm going to be using my strong adhesive for that. Now, I want nothing but glamour in this coffee station, so I thought these pieces would be perfect. So I've decided to go ahead and add a base to this tiered candy dish and I came across this small candle holder as well as this dessert cup or dream. Um, it was only 99 cents and it matches perfectly with the rest of this tray. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that piece to the center of my second tier. So here's how this piece turned out and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It looks like a crystal water fountain, but let me know down below what are your thoughts on how this piece turned out. So next I'll be using some of these five gallon painter sticks that I've already cut down to 15 inches long. And I'm gonna be using these as well as some tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be using these to create a two tiered mirrored stand. So I'm gonna be gluing four blocks in a row together. I've done four of those. I've got four of the painter sticks and I've got four three rows of blocks glued together. So for each tier I'll be using three of the square Dollar Tree mirrors. These are their older mirrors with the bevel. I'm going to be using two of my painter sticks and I'll be gluing those to the back of the mirrors to secure them and add extra security for my stand. Once those are glued down I'm going to be taking the three lines of blocks and I'm going to be gluing two of those to the bottom of each of my painter sticks and you'll have enough room to be able to add your four line of blocks to either side which is going to be the height you need in between each of your levels. I'm going to repeat that to both sides. 
To those, I'll be adding the other set of three blocks and this will become the support for the top level. I'll, I'll be gluing this level down the same way I did the first one and I'm adding two blocks glued together to become handles for this display stand. I covered my mirrors and I took this out and gave it two coats of some gold Rust-Oleum spray paint and I didn't like the way it looked at all. I wish I would have hand painted this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some pretty to this by covering all the wood with these mirror tiles. I will have these mirror tiles linked down below So this is the space I'll be decorating and I've added one of those pumpkin pictures to a frame. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my mirror display stand right in the middle of that picture frame. Now I'm going to be adding these gorgeous canisters that I thrifted from my local Goodwill and they were $1.99 each and I got a whole set. So I'll be using these two for my coffee and sugar. And I'll be using this creamer one with some beautiful pink diamonds on the inside that are going to hold these gorgeous decorative spoons that I've created using Dollar Tree and Totally Dazzled brooches. Now, And all I'm going to do is use a little bit of hot glue just to secure these small brooches from Totally Dazzled to the top of these. Now I'm going to leave the link down below for Totally Dazzled if you're interested in buying some of these gorgeous brooches and I'm just going to add that to the creamer cup so that they are on display. That is all for the DIYs for today. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with me decorating the rest of this area using things I already had at home. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to put together. That is all for today. I want to thank you so very much for watching. I truly appreciate your time. I hope that you're continuing to stay safe and I will talk to you in my next video.